But we're in a very active place. The wind's blowing, people are moving. You might be eating a hot dog. <laughs> but I, I just believe that if we, if you just kind of stop and have a moment, I think God, I think God would speak to your heart. I'm going to sing through that again. and uh, Maybe that you would hear that after all the years so far that you've been alive and all the things that you've done, despite all of it, God still loves you. I still want you Yes, I need you Having to hold you After all of these years I will listen To your problem Try to fix them Just wipe away your tears If you need me I'm not in love I'm not in I'll stay awake Till morning light And chase away so come closer Right here forever Deep in my heart Together as one I only C.S. Lewis, uh, he talks about, uh, and he wrote a book called The Four Loves, and he talks about that uh, at the end of the day, the only kind of real love when it comes to God is need love. And like for me in my life, I'm really coming to have a real practical understanding of what that looks like with having a seven-week-old child. <laughs> when you wake up at 4.30 in the morning and he's crying, he's not crying because he's having a bad day. He's just he's crying because he has a direct need. And it's gotten to the point where he's just crying out about it. That's the great thing about babies. They're just really honest. <laughs> we cry out for all sorts of different things. We cry out of our longing. We cry out of pain. We cry out of anger. We cry out of resentment. And at the end, But at the bottom barrel, at, at the very bottom, at the very foundation of all of it, is a need, a very basic human built into your DNA, into the very fabric of who you are, need to be loved by God. And the problem is we spend most of our life trying to get it fulfilled by other things. And so that when we come to church or we come to events like this and somebody tells us you need Jesus, I'm like, well, there's no room. If you have everything you want, why would you ever need God? If you think your life's complete and you come to an event like this and you leave and you're like, yeah, the religion thing's just not for me. Of course it's not for you. There's no room for it. Because you're not just being honest with yourself. And that, that's all it takes. It's just one real moment to kind of look at my life and go, you know what, this, ain't, this isn't working. This really isn't working. What I got going on right now, it's kind of like plugging holes on a sinking ship. It works kind of sometimes, but at the end of the day, it's one in the morning, it's two in the morning, I get home on a weekend, and I'm, and I'm in my room, I shut off my laptop, I turn off my phone, and there's still just this really huge hole in my heart. And it's the same need that I see in my son. Because I know that I can't give him what he needs. We can give him food. That'll keep him quiet. I'll make him go to sleep. But what he really, really needs is Jesus. 